Yo, 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 and a ho, 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 and welcome back to Rob's Homemade. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Christmas is very, very close. We are here today with the crew. We are doing Walker's Christmas dinner for Sprout Lovers. A six pack. We have two turkey and stuffing, two Brussels sprouts, and two pigs in blankets. We've also got, yeah, the more, yeah, yeah, like I said, you've chosen the Christmas dinner of champions. Enjoy these delicious, festive flavours. I intend to, hopefully, I'm going to say I'm not a sprout lover. I don't know if, it's a, it's a debate that a lot of people have about Christmas, whether they like sprouts, don't like sprouts. So what I'm going to do, we're going to see if we can have a Christmas dinner in a bowl of crisps. So I'm going to put these here. We're going to test each flavour first individually and then I'm going to put them into a bowl and I'm going to mix them all up and then we're going to just grab a handful and see how these flavours go. So we're going to start with, what should we start with? We'll start with John's and most people's favourite part of Christmas. In fact, I'm gonna hold all three up first. Turkey and stuffing, sprouts and pigs in blankets. So we're gonna start with pigs in blankets. Do, 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 do. Family favourites, you chosen pigs in blankets, the sprout lovers. Pigs in blankets. Here we go. The usual ingredients in the crisps, obviously, potatoes, vegetable oil, pigs in blanket seasoning. Pigs in blanket seasoning contain wheat, wheat powder for milk, salt, sugar, rice flour, onion powder, herb spices, acid, colouring and smoke flavour. So I'm assuming they're trying to get the smoked bacon flavour in the pig in blanket. So I'm going to try a couple of these first. As with walkers, you don't get a great deal in the bag. Just look like plain. Smell like smoky bacon. Mmm. They are what they are. Pretty much smoky bacon flavour. So we're going to go. I'm going to leave the sprouts till the last, I think. So we're going to go turkey and stuffing. I'm assuming this is going to be the same, pretty much. Potato, vegetable oil, sunflower, loaf, yeah, yeah, yeah. Turkey and stuffing seasoning. The turkey and stuffing seasoning contains wheat powder from milk, salt, onion powder, potassium chloride flavourings, and chicken fat. Shouldn't that be turkey fat, really? If you're going to do a turkey and stuffing flavoured crisp. Oh well. Mine is not the reason why. Mine is just to eat the crisps. So turkey and stuffing. A little bit of stuffing flavour. A little bit of sage and onion, but it tastes like roast, roast chicken flavour. <coughs> Oh well, in there you go, give them a bit of a mix. Right, the flavour that will divide the nation, sprouts. So, the usual stuff, potato visible, Brussels sprout seasoning. That contains rice flour, salt safe flavourings, sugars, onion powders, colour, copper complexes of, I can't even say that. So there's no actual sprout in there. Of any. Images of sprout for illustrious purposes only. Product contains no sprouts, contains flavourings only. That's a fair enough comment. So, Brussels sprout flavour. 
This ain't gonna go well, is it, guys? They do actually smell like Brussels sprouts, to be fair. And they've even got like a green tinge to them. I don't even know if I'm gonna try these, I'll be perfectly honest. This is a Marmite moment. You're either going to love these or hate them. They smell like sprouts and they do actually taste like sprouts. I'm actually confused right now as to whether I actually like those, that flavour or not. I, I really can't be sure. I'm like, yeah, they taste that, yeah, but them sprouts with them. And you sort of, your mind's going all over the place as to whether that's, it, this is, it's a good gimmick. Right, so, I'm gonna give these a mix up. Right, let's see if I can grab a bit of everything. By the looks of the colours of the crisps, I've got a bit of everything in there. You've got a bit of green, you've got the brown of the turkey stuff in, and the light colour of the pig in blanket. Let's see if walkers can produce a Christmas dinner in a crisp. Bit of pig, pig in blanket there. Bit of chicken flavouring. Not really getting the sprout come through, which probably could be a saving grace to be honest. Definitely get a smoky bacon flavour. And then you get a bit of the, I'm, I'm going to say it tastes like roast chicken. It definitely isn't turkey. Because they've used chicken fat, you can tell. But that's not bad. It really isn't that bad. I wouldn't call it Christmas dinner in a crisp. But you get the dip when you mix them together like that, you do get the different textures. These ain't gonna stand up for me, am they? Oh, I'm not the soldier over now, look. Oh hang on. This could work. No. Oh well. Anyway, we had pigs in blanket flavour, turkey and stuffing flavour, sprout flavour, individually. Pigs in blankets taste like smoky bacon. This is just my opinion, by the way, of course. Um, turkey and stuffing, not much stuffing flavour, a little hint in the background, but it tastes of chicken, not turkey. And the sprout ones on their own do smell when you open that pack and do taste like sprouts. So fair play to Walkers for doing Christmas dinner for sprout lovers. I'm gonna go and finish these because I don't like wasting food and it's not a bad combo, to be fair. See the sprout ones on their own there, they give off a strong taste, but when you mix them with the others, it's not so potent. But anyway, I'm gonna give that, I'm gonna give them a seven. They weren't that bad at all, when they mixed together individually, not quite the flavors which they say they are, the sprout one definitely, sprout one, 10 out of 10, for whoever put that seasoning together and sprinkled on them crisp, well done, because the sprout flavour is bang on. Pigs in blankets, more of a smoky bacon. Chicken, 
instead of turkey. Because I think because they use chicken fat then obviously it's going to taste more of a chicken. But very good. So I just want to say I'll give them a, I'll give them a seven. Yeah, Christmas dinner in a crisp from Walkers. So thank you very much for watching. Thank you to the crew for turning up once again and supporting me through these Christmas videos. John's staring at me again. Stop it, John. In fact, put your glasses back on. That looks more like yo now. <laughs> anyway, I just want to say thank you very much for watching. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll be back for more festive fun from Rob's Homemade. Peace!